And so right now it is almost 1255. And so we're watching this storm that has this has been like the the storm of the day uh, in the in, in the world. Probably when you think about like all the storms that we have had, this thing produced a mammoth tornado. It was multi vortex. I mean, this thing was just going and going and going. That's what it did out by a lusty and Altus. And so the storm has really changed though in the last little bit. You can see brand new severe thunderstorm warning was just extended a little bit farther to the east. And so the weather service did decrease the winds from 70 down to 60 miles per hour. So the new warning that's now taking over for sulfur is going to be for winds of 60 miles per hour. Now there may be some stronger winds that are going to be back up inside of this. And so, you know, from Davis out towards Poolsville here you may get some strong winds with that as it continues to move to the east. But for the most part, uh, at least that strong wind gust that we had up by uh, that was outside of Velma that went 73 miles per hour. It looks like at least that has come down and based off of these reports that Michael has been able to provide us from Davis. If you're living in sulfur right now, the good news is that the winds, while they are, they have the potential to be strong. They're not that strong when you when you look at some of the reports that are coming in. Michael, one last time, I'll come out to you here. Uh, what, what's the update? What, what do you have to uh, to tell people there in Sulphur about what's coming in? Well, I mean, just the good news is in Sulphur, I mean, in Davis, we didn't experience that strong of wind, but I'm I'm still a little bit concerned. I just wonder if there's like a core of wind that's a little bit north or south of us that hasn't might made it in yet. And with all the debris that's on the roads and just around town from the tornado in late April here in Sulphur, it, I just uh, I still have to wonder if that's not going to create some some big problems here down in sulfur so we're not very far we're just a few miles from sulfur uh, getting ready to come into town we're actually just a couple of miles from the turnpike uh, from the Chickasaw turnpike so we'll be coming into sulfur here just momentarily and so we'll give you a, a good idea of what these winds are doing uh, when they roll roll into sulfur and we'll probably will actually end up kind of over by where some of those uh, worst damage areas are where the tornado did pass through pretty much right through the downtown area of Sulphur and we'll get an idea of of what it looks like there as it's moving in. And so looking at the velocity right now up inside of the storm and so we could see some strong winds west of Washita it's that purple right there as those are spreading to the east over I-35. They're still there, not as bright, but they're still there. So for Sulphur, we're going to continue to watch it again. This storm right here is warned. It's severe warned for 60 mile an hour winds. Michael is right in there. Should anything flare up, develop that, you know, is going to be, you know, quite significant. We'll uh, definitely let you know. Just looking at some of these weather stations out by Davis, uh, you know, some of the winds gusting there were mainly in that 30 to 50 mile per hour range. So we'll watch it. Severe thunderstorm warning until 145 just issued as you go into Eastern Murray and then go into Pontotoc County. Keep it with KOCO 5 News. We'll bring you the first alert.